Hey guys, what's up? Gamma the Pyro here, bringing you part two of the DOS commands. So what you're going to want to do is bring up your command prompt, just like that. And the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is t how to edit a file. So you see I still have that matrix thing from last time, and I didn't put enough numbers in, so I'm going to fix that. So type in edit your file name dot bat and then this thing's gonna appear from here you can just edit it like is implied Okay, so I think now I've put in enough randoms. So, oh, if you want help, then you just press F1 on your keyboard, and this appears. You can, like, get all your commands, like, Control plus Q plus F to find text, or something like the basic editing commands like pressing delete deletes the character that the cursor is on and stuff like that okay so you press file save and there's all this other stuff wait a second yeah you can change your colors and stuff in this editing window and then press close no sorry exit and it will bring you back here now if I type file name dot bat oh fail name yeah fail in typing yeah I just can't type today there we go now there are twice as many as there used to be and it pretty much fills up the screen that it gives oh and for those who noticed that I changed my background that's because I was afraid I might l run into legal issues because I just got that previous picture straight off the web do you guys see that green line? Oh just went away right there okay so I'm just gonna exit this another thing I wanted to show you guys is the rename you can either type in ren or rename but I have to get to my location really quick Okay. So Ren file name ah. dot bat and then just press a space. And just like that, it's been renamed. So if you want to get rid of this without like dragging it to the recycle bin or right clicking and delete like like I would do but if you want to do it the hard way you can either type in del or delete whatever dot bat and then undelete it has to be undelete it can't be undel Oh wait. Okay, well, I guess that command does not actually work. So 
So if you want to know how fast your internet connection is, you can do two things. Path ping. Um, any website you want. Like I'm just going to do Facebook. Well, actually, this isn't checking your speed. This is checking who is actually on Facebook. This is their um, system that their their service that they're using. I'm using Skybeam too, and I think that one actually is me. No, no, it's not. But all those are just like everybody's um, IPs and information and then you have to press control C to exit that again so I think trace RT does this no nope it's ping just not path ping not trace RT just ping There we go. So I sent four packets and received four, so I lost zero percent. Packets are like just random information that it sends and tells it to send back, and then its minimum time is 35 milliseconds to send it back, and maximum time is 42 milliseconds average is 39 this can also depend on the server so I suggest that you don't do gaming servers or servers that take up a lot of information because those seem to just not send them back as fast what else did I want to show you guys yeah I really like to use notepad just just because it can be really handy god that green light did you guys see that green line? Because it just keeps popping up right there, and now it's over there. I feel like I'm like a cat trying to chase all those laser pointers or something. A dog maybe chasing a ball. Wow, that's going to get really annoying really fast. So, um... If you want any help with any commands, just put in the comments, or you guys can email me at gamma the pyro at hotmail dot com. Yeah, that's not a command either. Oh yeah, and echo. I showed you guys this last time in the batch file that I made and echo just tells you something see prompt this is your prompt like your directory is set to the default prompt so I'm just gonna say hello and now when I press enter hello comes up instead of the directory when you want to change that back, just type prompt um, D. No, that's date. Prompt help. Okay, so it's apparently P. Prompt P. Fail. There we go. So you can also do stuff like um give me a second. I forgot what the break is. Oh, there it is. Just dollar sign underscore prompt time p 
he so that's the time right there go to the next line and then the current directory and path with the uh, oh, I have to look up what that thing is colon is that it yeah I think it's a colon okay so also a little handy thing that you can do with like text and stuff um watch right here see just changed it yay okay so any questions remarks anything just remember to send a comment please like this video and subscribe if you want to learn how to program because I'm going to try to do JavaScript, C Sharp, Visual Basic, and maybe HTML if anyone's interested in that. Okay, see you guys later.